We're doing something special tonight. Mr. Tom Hoover. Tom Hoover's place in the automotive world will forever be linked to his engineering skills, which led to the 426 Hemi. He was the godfather of the Hemi. He began work at Chrysler in 1955 and earned his master's degree in automotive engineering from the Chrysler Institute. Many people aren't aware that Mr. Hoover designed and invented the first fuel injection system for Chrysler, the electrojector. It met with limited success in the 50s. Mr. Hoover was also an instrumental in design of the Slant 6 Hyperpack. He was one of the original Ram Chargers. Mr. Hoover was always meddling with performance-oriented projects. He was named Master Engineer for Plum and Max Wedge Program, instrumental in designing the famous Cross Ram Intake Manifold. His real fame came when he decided there had to be something better than a conventional RV block. Mr. Hoover had worked with the first generation Chrysler Hemi, so naturally that's where his efforts returned, and the result was the 426 Hemi in 1964. He also worked on the development of the early AFX altered wheelbase cars, the 446 pack motor, the TA346 pack, the first generation of pro stock racers, and had his hands in countless other projects along the way. He was the chief engine builder for the Ram Chargers, the guiding force behind the Motown Vessel Pro Stock Car. One of the last tasks that he had at Chrysler was helping develop the Little Red Express truck and turning the 360 engine into a more powerful police engine. Mr. Hoover retired from Chrysler in 1979, and when they were developing the new generation 5.7 Hemi, Chrysler called him back into action, and three of Mr. Hoover's major design suggestions regarding the new Hemi's were put into production. There's only been one Tom Hoover in all of automotive history. It's highly doubtful there'll ever be another one like him. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the 2013 Lifetime Achievement Award winner, my good friend, Mr. Tom Hoover. Anyway, uh, I got the treatment, 
and it takes about a year to make the recovery. I'm almost, about two thirds of the way through month seven. I'm going pretty good. See the fingers moving? I didn't fall down either. But I want to thank Herb and Marie because they and their children made an effort to get the word out that Hoover is 